Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. We are back on the Fokker today and I've got a little bit of an update for you. Let's just dive right in. So the Fokker fuselage is here on the bench and there's just a couple of things I want to point out uh, before explaining things. Number, number one is I've had uh, about half a dozen flights on this airplane now and it still flies phenomenally well. Uh, so good, so, so good. And one of the things that I did notice and part of you know these kind of scratch build things is you find problem areas. And one of those is the landing gear. Kind of expected it, kind of expected it. We're, we're landing 11 pounds on foam <laughs> and we're landing it on rough runways that are covered in grass and tufts and things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert a, a, a B-roll here, but there is some wear and tear on the foam on the fuselage. And that's from the, uh, the landing gear pushing up into the fuselage upon landing. And that was kind of expected. If you recall back, I tried to uh, spread some load out with the, uh, with the additional spar area. And while it was pretty good, it's just clearly not enough. That wrinkling is a result of that. So uh, the other thing it could also be is pulling from this strut on the, the trailing edge of the wing. Not likely, but we're gonna address either situation. Uh, and that was done with this cute little piece of cardstock. Um, so really all I did was I cut a piece of ply and just like other pieces on this, like um, the, uh, the, the servo tray, you just need more surface area. We're using the foam sort of as a structure slash skin sort of thing, but we've taken all the paper off since it's foam board. And so we have to spread this load over a wider area of surface. So right now we only have the landing gear, which has this profile and is why we're getting that kind of shape. So I glued in uh, some ply pieces that are in this shape and I, I sanded and fitted the bottom areas to be a little more snug fitting. And then of course I used Gorilla Glue to keep them adhere. So now those are reinforced in the foam and they are kind of locked into the uh, the servo rail. See if I can get some see sort of yeah see that so again it's sort of locked in and it's spreading the load out over a much wider area so i'm gonna fly it some more and see how it does and hopefully that should be the fix all right so the next thing we have to address is the more landing gear <laughs> um so when I first built this, I obviously was intending this to be really, really light, but I didn't expect it to be so close to the weight of the balsa one. So I didn't actually wrap the axles with any sort of bungee cord or elastic. Mistake. Mistakes were made. Nobody was hurt other than the foam. So inserting pictures. Um, I, I pulled the, the landing gear, well first I pulled the wheels off and then cut holes in the bottom of the wing area part and opened it up, put some elastic uh, hair ties in and with the hair ties in I closed it back up, I repaired the top part and then just added paint, uh, well obviously a layer of glass and then paint. but. That's really all it took. It's like maybe two hours of work to do all of that repair and modification, uh, which is one of the great blessings of working with foam airplanes. And like anytime you have a fix, it's like super easy. You don't care if you cut into it because fixing is like stupid easy, right? So um, those are the only issues that I've had. Uh, the only other thing that has been kind of a pain is the transport of the airplane. And the, what I mean by that is that the trailing, uh, the, the, the trailing strut would like rotate down. 
and then like drag or catch on something. So I, I designed and quick did a 3D print of these little keepers just to keep the struts together uh, while I transport it and while the wing is not on it. Uh, you, trust me, it, it's a big deal to me. <laughs> Um, so that's again why I love the 3D printer so much because it took me like less than five minutes to draw that up and then another I think it was nine minutes to print both of those so stupid easy to do but other than that still waiting on the pilot uh, Carl's got his life uh, I've got my life so I'm in no big hurry I'm still having fun flying this airplane you know, other than still trying to get to know it, uh, it's it's just been a fantastic and enjoyable experience. Such a great presence in the air and uh, a lot of fun to take out and share with other people. Until next time, guys, keep updating your flying works of art.